tapering across my leg, but this should be rolling. turning. Tape is rolling. Oh, here's my card, by the way. Oh, okay. I just okay. get the little... And welcome to DeHaley Live. Thank you again for joining us. I'm not sure if my titles had music or not, um, uh, because we, at this wonderful public access station, we encountered an upgrade or a, I don't know, a, 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 a shift in our, our equipment in the last few days. So we had to do some quick putting things up to, together. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I have some wonderful people supporting me tonight. I have Shannon on the cameras. What up? Hello. Um, I, maybe I should pop my collar. What do you think? No? Nobody? Okay, nobody likes that. I have Todd, of course, in the studio. We've got Butch back there. We've got Petrushka on sound. Yay! And we have Stacy Gardner also on the ones and twos in the back. Um, she is helping because she has come along with our guest. That's right. If you're tuning in tonight, I know you're excited because you will be able to get to meet the man in the hot pink suit. Let's go to camera and see this man in the hot pink suit. Bam! It is hot pink. You thought maybe it was like a fuchsia. Maybe you thought a carnation pink. Absolutely not. This man went for the full gusto. Hello, man in the hot pink suit. Hello, DeHaley. Nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is a fantastic <clears throat> suit. <clears throat> Thank you. I think Steve Harvey is totally <laughs> jealous at this point. <laughs> Actually, I think all black comedians, male comedians, are totally jealous of that suit. That's amazing. <laughs> That's great to hear. And I hear that from uh, just about uh, everyone, particularly uh, uh, men uh, these days going out and about, uh, get a lot of compliments. And, um, you know, uh, this is a very unique three-piece uh, bright pink suit, a hot three pink piece. suit. There is a piece. vest. And I don't know if I need to stand up uh, at some point to show it off. It's a great suit. Oh, we're gonna yeah. make you. We're gonna make you run, <laughs> walk up and down and strut, and, <laughs> and do the Jagger. You know, I want to see moves like Mick Jagger in that suit. Oh yeah, okay. So let's just start at the beginning. Tell us a little bit about you. I mean, I know you want to only be known as the man in the hot pink suit, and why? Why is there? We know that that's not the name on your birth certificate. So <laughs> why be anonymous, or not anonymous, but like, um, why lose your identity and just be called the man in the hot pink suit? Tell me that. Well, I'm only called the man in the hot pink suit when I'm wearing this hot pink suit. Understood. The suit is uh, speaks for itself, and uh, I jumped in this suit, and this character really emerged. It was really uh, a phenomenon unto itself uh, where we would be walking around through Hollywood, wherever we were going, and literally would hear you know, uh, hoots and calls and people going, the suit, the suit, it's amazing. That's an wow. amazing suit. It was the suit, the suit, the suit. So very quickly, I uh, was like, uh, yeah, I'm the man in the hot pink suit. I get it. You know, this is really what this is all about. And uh -huh. that's kind of, you know, uh, uh, that's that's how uh, I embodied this 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 suit fully as as a, uh, a person who is uh, embracing color and for other good reasons and outside of uh, this when I'm not wearing the pink suit I'm yeah. I'm, uh, I'm a uh, uh, a mild mannered uh, reporter. So you are uh, the mild mannered <laughs> reporter outside of the suit and then in the <laughs> suit you become like super. So are you that's just right. a quiet guy? And then when the suit comes on, you become more bubbly and more vivacious. Is that what you're telling no me? No doubt, no doubt. Oh. Uh, uh, color, uh, a color like this, uh, hot pink, really at, 
you know, adds a pop to it looks really good the on black your skin and gray tone. world. It yeah. looks great. And um, um, where did you find the suit? Let's just back yeah, it up. I know. We so I'd like so because the way you made it seem is like <clears throat> this suit was hanging somewhere, <clears throat> and you were like. I've got to put it on. And then you put it on, and then you just all of a sudden embodied this yes, other personality. Which is sort of like, a, get, to answer your question, what you could say that this is, um, you know, I'm a real life superhero, and this is my, oh. uh, you know, my version of my, my cape and um, my mask, if, if you will. And uh, instead of going out and uh, fighting petty crime or uh, helping, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an, an old lady cross the street or uh, uh, open a door for somebody, uh, I'm uh, bringing color to the world and uh, also for a cause. So um, that's just and one way of looking right. at it. it. I like that. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different metaphors. Uh, that, that I have, uh, I utilize uh, in looking at the world now right. through through this uh, through pink, this pink pink colored glasses yes, and, and beyond. Colored, that's great. Um, and uh, it, it it all started when I uh, yes uh, unexpectedly walked into a uh, men's clothing store. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, Moods of Norway. Moods, Moods of, Norway, of Norway, everyone. Uh, uh, which is located in Robertson Avenue in uh, the uh, the trendy shopping district down there. Fantastic. And, um, they are uh, a great, uh, fun group of designers from Norway who make happy clothes for happy people. Oh, that's great. So, totally, yes, I feel much more happier. Uh, I get more uh, so wait, come alive when, you, when I wear this suit. Yes. You went into Moods of Norway <laughs> for like a gray suit, and then you were like, nope, not going to get that gray suit. Not when I see this <laughs> pink suit looking at me. It was. It's a lot more more involved in that. It's a great story. And no, I'm just joking. I'm not really the mild mannered reporter. I, I generally do. I'm a fashionable person. Do color. Love. Uh, uh, love to dress up. I was just uh, passing by Moods of Norway, and uh, you know, was was browsing. I was actually uh, producing an event across the street. Happened to be down there promoting, and um, the guys. Uh, you know. Uh, I got into a couple different outfits. They had some very bright stuff on the lime the green, like my pants. Perhaps can we take a look <laughs> at my pants? These are my favorite, <laughs> by the way. And so I feel like you and I are really doing it, great, doing it. Great but, green. By great the way, green. anyone who has color in their wardrobe, who is like exceptionally bright, like like the man in the hot pink suit and the woman in the lime green pants, you can call in and talk to us right now at six two six seven nine four. 2116. Again, it's the woman in the lime green pants, <laughs> DeHaley, here on DeHaley Live, talking to the man in the hot pink suit. So yes, take that's us back. Way to groove the green. And, Thank you and very much. Yes, this, as I said, it's a metaphor. Any color uh, is, is an opportunity for personal branding for somebody out there. So, um, uh, and that's eventually I made the connection with this pink into uh, something larger, and it really deserves a, a branded identity unto its own self. And it allows me to kind of slip into the backdrop. Normally, I'm out there. Um, in the spotlight anyway. This was a different way of just going out and, um, you know, um, trying on, uh, you know, a different look and um, really having a great time. So I walked into the store. Okay. Yeah, they had a blue suit. They had a purple suit. They had a purple suit. And I, I was, uh, I actually uh, got into them and, uh, you know, it really wasn't my, my thing. It wasn't working. Okay. And um, I was um, in the dressing room and they said, hold on, I think we got something special for you. I said, okay. Let's do it. I, I said, this is not even available until maybe next spring. And wow. um, try this on. So I was actually in the dressing room, and they brought it in. And, and it was like, wow, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, this, is, uh, this is insane. Let me put it on, and let me just see. You know, I'm already, you know, there. You're and, already and, there. And they have wild color clothing checks, right. and they're, they're yeah. really, really fun. So it was part of the whole thing. Like, okay, yeah. you made a hot pink suit. So the least I can do is try it on. Right. Got it on, you know, and went, wow. Fit like a glove. Yes, and, it really um, does. You know, so you did not have to tailor this at all. This so it's like going in a phone booth because after that, after I walked out, yeah, literally, you know, my life changed and this this whole thing is really snowball. I I actually asked the store if I could go outside uh, just to get a reaction because I was like a little bit like mm, I'm kind of unsure because the guy's like you look great, you look great. Of course you're going to say I look great. Right. And uh, I knew I did look great, but you know I never really thought of leaving the store in a hot pink okay. suit. Okay. You know. But I went outside. The reaction was fantastic. Uh, I mean, stop traffic. That's and I knew, I knew imme immediately that, that, uh, that was I would have a you. lot of fun with this suit. So I said, I'll take it. And, and that's how it all began. And it wasn't long before I made the deeper connection 
uh, with pink going out, this whole persona, the man in the hot pink suit, and then um, the the greater connection with with the cause and uh, rocking hot pink for the well, cure. Well, let's get to the cause yeah. in one moment. Yeah. Let's get to the cause in All one right. moment. I would like to again. Our number is six two six seven nine four twenty one sixteen. Um, what I'd love to do right now is just go to a commercial break so that you guys can <coughs> gather yourself, gather your senses, because there's a lot of color, it's a lot of sensory <laughs> overload right happening right now. Um, uh, Todd, Butch, Petrushka, Stacy, Stanton, one of my wonderful, lovely staff members, can we run um, a clip? Like, let's do, uh, I'd like to not run the hot pink suit just yet, but maybe we can run a, a commercial um, of maybe the Urban Collective, which has donated a lot of, like, jewelry in the past for me, and you can have that. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's roll. Back in two minutes. <laughs> Doing it and doing it. Are they gone? No. We <laughs> need to set that up and then don't forget 6267. Okay, it's happening. with a man in the hot pink suit. And I am DeHaley Hall, your host um, in the Lime Green Pants. <laughs> Please give us a call, 626-794-2116. We would love to hear from you. So, Mark, uh, I'm sorry, man in the hot pink <laughs> suit. Oh, we have a caller. Hi, caller. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do. You know, this is a public access show. This is a growing and learning experience. People are unfurling here. They're cutting their teeth in broadcasting right here on this set. So sometimes they'll tell me there's a call and there is no call. And that's when I go back to my wonderful guest that I'm so excited about. So how long have you had the suit? I've had the suit for a year and a half, going on two years. Oh, wow. When... What year, what time, so when you say you yeah. stopped traffic with the suit, literally you went into Robertson and mm -hmm. like people in front of the Ivy and, and so it so just stopped? Yes, I, <clears throat> exactly. This was September 2010. I walked out. The first thing that happened, there were three uh, guys walking down the street. Uh, immediately said, that's an amazing suit. I went to the corner and then I crossed the street and, and literally did stop traffic. Uh, people were craning their necks out the windows and looking and, and really just, uh, I knew right away that, uh, you know, this was a showstopper. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, and we do have a <laughs> caller. Hi, caller. I can't hear you. Hey, caller. There is no one speaking, right? I'm not crazy. It's a little early for calls, <laughs> isn't it? We just got started. <laughs> well, caller, when you start, when you find <clears throat> your voice, we are here for you. Um, <clears throat> what I need, is, and you did find it. Hello, caller, or should I? Are you going through an exorcism, caller? <laughs> Hi, caller. The other thing, caller. <clears throat> Hello. Hey, that's a real person. <laughs> Not an electronic, a weird thing. Hi. Oh, oh no, we've lost. Hello. It. It's like almost like a seance, you know, like we bring in the well, callers. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you have a it's, question for the man in the hot pink suit? I sure do. Oh, great. Lay it on him. Well, I've just been seeing him all over the place. You know, every time I'm on a different website, like LA Weekly or something, I'm always seeing him, you know, in his hot pink suit at all these great, fabulous events. And I just want to know what inspired him to choose the color pink for his suit. Oh. This is so exciting. We have a celebrity. This man is a showstopper. Let's do it. Well, uh, the suit was there uh, first. It first came the suit. Um, you know, I found it. 
and it was just a great suit. Uh, I think I just talked a little bit about how they got me in the suit at Moods of Norway, and it was a great fit. Yeah. And I decided, let's just go for it. He stopped yeah. traffic, yeah. okay, and that's when he was like, sign me up. He I pulled know. Out the black I know. Mean, I see him everywhere. So where did you, you've seen him on websites? Have you <laughs> met him in person? No, I've never met him in person, but, you know, I've, it's just been crazy because every time I'm on LA Weekly, I, I saw him in several pictures at an opening at a at an art event in downtown LA, and I've seen him in so many other pictures, and I'm like, who is this guy? And he's awesome. been just you know. really getting a lot of attention. My, my first And I'm like, oh, how did he get this idea? I'm just so curious. And this is so great. He's totally, absolutely right. I have the first, I have the exclusive first interview with the man in the hot pink suit. So he's going to tell you how he got this idea and where you can maybe meet him in person mm -hmm. next. Yeah, just sure. to begin to go back, this is a Moods of Norway suit. Happy Closer, Happy People on Robertson Avenue, a Norwegian okay. um, uh, store. Uh, I happened to walk in, and next thing you know, I was walking out with this suit. It's as simple as that. They had it. Uh, it, uh, it seemed to be just uh, made for me, and um, the rest is history. I then put two and two together that uh, pink was uh, really a passionate color and a color associated uh, with an uh, important cause of uh, breast cancer in women. Uh, right. I uh, realized that my mom was a breast cancer survivor. Wow. And, wow. Uh, you know, uh, that alone with just the name, and uh, all just kind of came to me probably the first night I went out in it. And, uh, quickly, you know, uh, well, you know, we put together a card and just kind of made it official. And I've been going out to events, uh, uh, yes, on a regular basis ever since and just having a great time. Because a, a ribbon is not enough for this man. He <laughs> needs this. Well, can we pull up the card? Well, I think can we have the card that we can show on the <laughs> monitor so you can see that. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the full pink card mm -hmm. yeah. for that. And can, can yeah. I also mm -hmm. ask you this? Um, how did you get to all these events, like uh, like LA Weekly? Were you invited to these things, or did you know to be there and kind of like crashed it as the man in the hot pink suit? How did that work? <laughs> uh, I'm on a uh, uh, you know an exclusive list uh, through you know connections that I know, and uh, so uh, there it is. That's the card. That's awesome. You know, not to drop any names, but uh, my fashion stylist is uh, in the fashion scene, is a blogger, and uh, gets exclusive access to a lot of red carpet events. So um, it's been, made it easy for this whole uh, campaign to take fruition um, in, in going out, and uh, everyone stops me, people want photos, and I get a chance to uh, talk about the suit, but also the, the cause. And then uh, f we have a project to get. Uh, people involved like men uh, so it's it's just a great conversation starter and I I'm uh, excited that you've been seeing me out there thanks for, Thank for you your so call much, in. color yeah Thank you. and what's your name caller my name is Lisa Thank you, Lisa. We really appreciate you tuning oh, thank in. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Good luck to you. Thanks. Okay, bye. We should also mention that there is now also should we show footage? I want you maybe it's a time to, for you to talk us through other men in pink suits and how that all works out. I think that I think that's great because one of the first things I thought was, am I the only one? Are there other uh, men out there wearing pink? Of course there are. Um, I've seen some well-known guys in pink and some uh, hot pink suits actually. Oh really? Uh, and then sort of traced it back and said, you know, the original man in pink uh, goes back to Elvis Presley. So right. uh, it gave me a lot of uh, foundation for. You know, going out there and, and rocking pink. Yes, Elvis was, uh, his favorite color was pink. And he's famous for his pink Cadillacs. Oh, right, okay. And, uh, yeah, he was a trend center on many levels. So uh, he, um, you know, had the guts to wear pink in a time when, you know, uh, very few guys were. So yeah. we can sort of uh, trace the lineage. And, uh, and on my uh, website and Facebook, uh, I uh, post as many photos right. of, of guys in colorful clothing, particularly pink. And I decided to put together this quick little slideshow yeah. uh, of the men in pink. Pink, uh, just to show that you know I'm not the only one. There's You're a lot of guys doing it. It's a big trend. But now. nobody's doing it as fabulously as you, <laughs> well, Mr. You. Hot pink, you. Pink, man in the hot pink suit. So what we're going to do is yeah. when we show the slideshow, he's going to talk us through it. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll, it won't have any sound, but his sound will be on, and the man in the hot pink suit mm -hmm. will walk us through this. So mm -hmm. are we queued up for that wonderful slideshow? Oh, there it is. And so we'll let you talk through it. Well, there I am actually at the LA Art uh, Fest, uh, and uh, to start it off, a lot of great pink looks out there. Uh, 
For, for instance, uh, currently right now, Versace Spring Line is showing some great pink looks along with the hot color Tangerine Tango. Uh, great color blocking. Uh, this video is straight on pink, some variation. I wrote a little narration to this that goes along with it uh, on the Facebook page and where we have posted. And um, essentially, it uh, goes a little something like this. Ooh. Uh, pink is the new black for adventurous men who are living life to its fullest. Okay. Hot, wild, joyful, whimsical pink style makes a smile and fuels an aesthetic and philosophy grounded in happiness. Okay. Yes, indeed. It's a happy color. It's happy. And um, guys rocking pink, really, I see them as fashionable activists on a positively vibrant platform. Mm. And I see that, oh, there's Ice-T. Ice-T and pink. Ice-T. And you. So he may have beat me to the punch. He may have. But he doesn't have a three-piece moods of Not Norway. Not a three-piece. And really, uh, the guys in pink, I think, are taking a lot of chances. They're very bold. And they're really uh, leading this uh, new color revolution uh, that I think is a radiant response and a vivid antidote Whoa. to all that is dark, brooding, and boring in fashion, you know, arts, and design. Right. And I think it's one that's uh, poised to wake up our wardrobe as men and really wake up our life particularly that we have the opportunity to connect with uh, pink and, and breast cancer awareness, is a really dynamic way to connect with women out there and for men to show their, their passion for probably the one thing they love the most, and that is the women in their lives. Oh, that's great. So that's the men in pink. Uh, it's a quick little slideshow overview showing that there is a trend out there. Um, pink is definitely a bold statement. Oh, is um, that the new <laughs> Spider-Man? <laughs> No, it wasn't him. Sorry. There's a lot of different guys out there doing pink. And uh, as you saw, some celebs, some well-known guys. I got a picture of Will Smith in a pink T-shirt. Mm. Recently saw uh, uh, Gerald Butler had a pink hat. You know, so yeah. it's catching on everywhere you look. You're seeing it, particularly women. Pink, pink, pink everywhere. It's great. And I think it's, it's a great Mary opportunity. Kay, Miss Piggy, these are the <laughs> pink trendsetters in the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the guys can have an opportunity now to follow suit. And I'm just sort of uh, busting down that door. Uh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, Mar so and yeah. I will say this too. Um, I know the breast cancer is really synonymous with mm -hmm. the pink, but I really do feel that um, it's important to kind of recognize um, women mm -hmm. in general. Um, I am a feminist, but I don't even think it's necessary to say a feminist because I feel like if you respect women, you are humanist because they are a part of the human race. And th those kinds of equalities, things should not be differentiated. Like we should really treat every person in a w good way. Mm -hmm. yes. So I feel like with this suit, um, it's great because let's just go and say it. People sometimes feel like, oh, sometimes hot pink or pink or is just relegated to people who are not heterosexual. Just homosexual men are gonna be wearing this. It's a gay suit. But you know what? I feel that, well, in LA, I don't even think that we ever have those qualms. So I'd be really interested if you took your suit outside of LA, which is, I feel, I'm gonna say it, we're very progressive. We really are. Yes. A lot of hugs and love. So do you think that you would take this suit to places where, say, a pink suit has more, uh, embodies more of those kind of like, mm -hmm. I guess, archaic mm -hmm. um, Clichés. things? Yeah, uh, the, yeah, the cliché. Uh, yes, clichés, exactly. Well, I am originally from Chicago, and uh, I feel that, yeah, L.A. is the place to, to launch this. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I would have even come across this in Chicago. So right. you're right about that. As you see in the slideshow, uh, most of those guys were straight. Ice T, myself. Uh, I just found a picture, uh, actually, of uh, Brad Pitt recently in a light pink suit. So he's engaged uh, now. So clearly, he's yeah. stra he's straight. Yeah. So um, that is. Uh, yeah, I think we've established that that we're sort of beyond the cliche. Yeah. Um, the suit speaks for itself. You look great. It's a great color, and um, I think that it shows if you've got the confidence to wear it, confidence to wear it that. Um, you know, um, you're, you're being, you know, who you are out there in the world. I think it's really important. And um, uh, in other places, well, we have, uh, we can only speculate at this point, you know, what, what it would be like if uh, 
you know, I, I took this into uh, uh, the Deep South or into Texas right. uh, with a pair of pink cowboy boots and how that uh, the reaction would be. Uh, maybe down the road we'll see. But right now I'm happy to be in L.A. where people are really appreciating it and embracing it. That's awesome. I think we have another caller, right. actually. So please, um, and who do we have on the line? And you can definitely call in 626-794-2116. We're here. And uh, hello, caller. Sometimes there's a hello. It's a little My delay. My name is Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Thank you so much for calling. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, you're welcome. So you, you are here with me, De Haley Hall at De Haley Live in the Woman in the Lime Green Pants, talking <laughs> with the ex first exclusive interview with the man in the hot pink suit. Do you have awesome. a question for him? Yes, I think um, I love it when men wear hot pink suits because. I find them to be confident, creative, and just very, uh, they add so much color to a room, and it suits their personality. Of course, I'm going to expect someone vibrant when I talk to them. Right. So, <laughs> and sometimes you get tired of um, seeing all the gray suits and black suits, so I appreciate the confidence when a man steps out in color. You know, I think it's super cool and just fabulous. I think you're right. I think Thank you. that's what I was saying earlier, um, that it just shows a subtle but very poignant um, support of women, I feel. Because it's like I'm wearing this color that has been classified as something only relegated to women, and I'm doing it, and I'm doing it with pride, and I'm very excited about it and even I'm, though do you feel like that like it, it feels like a feminist statement when he <laughs> wears it I'm, I'm going there with it right right and I appreciate people um, that wear color because not only do their personalities uh, brighten my day but I feel as though if they're confident enough to wear such a bright color that um, they're just adding more color to the world you know in this uh, Challenging times that we live in. I yeah. really appreciate that. It actually puts a smile on my face. Oh, great! So I actually know Mark um, just, you know, from different events. He's Mr. Popular, you know, throughout LA, and uh, I think he's very cool and very chic and GQ. So him and his girlfriend are totally fabulous, actually. <laughs> Thank well, you. We don't know who right Mark the is. Room, the only person at. that we have like, in the room here is the man in the hot pink suit. I don't know who this like Mark one is. Of the most stylish couple. Uh -oh. Not only stylish, but very, very fabulous and very creative and just like, they just brighten my day. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, well, yeah, you definitely have to be able to rock this and be authentic. And it has to speak to you, and it has to be natural and be real, and it is. And uh, so it's a, it's a great uh, pleasure and a responsibility. And I think the suit speaks for itself. If people ask me, why am I wearing this suit? They think there must be a reason, because right. they've never seen anything so audacious like this. And I say, uh, do I need a reason? This suit is fabulous. you know. But then to say, yes, uh, there is a connection. Uh, right. so I'm showing my support for women and, uh, you know, uh, and a deadly disease that uh, we have to fight against. And men really need to step up their game. Mm. And um, this is my way of really doing it and sort of just uh, uh, jumping out there and being able to have a little bit of a platform for this and, and to um, get the conversation going with people and get people thinking and meeting such great people wherever I go, uh, like, like uh, the caller who just called in. She's great. That was and, nice of you. Thank and you. And on top of that, he has a huge heart. So amen to that. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for calling in. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. So... I yeah. have to ask, there's, there is a, um, a calendar associated with this. Absolutely. That, that's, uh, that's the opportunity that I was just uh, mentioning where guys can get involved. Um, again, I'm anonymous. It's not about me. It's about the color and the effect and the cause. Uh, so we have an opportunity to uh, turn the conversation to as a challenge. There it is, the pink calendar yeah. on the screen. As a challenge to men out there to follow in my footsteps and to be uh, to work with me in uh, actually uh, putting together a project that raises awareness and money uh, for breast cancer research um, uh, education screening and so on uh, with worthy uh, organizations 
uh, such as Susan G. Komen, Passionately Pink for the Cure, right. um, and, and others that are doing great work in the world. Uh, the idea was just was again was organic to wearing the suit. It said, "Well, I did it. How about you? Do you think you could do it? And what if we had this product, uh, a calendar, where we could uh, get men who w could rock hot pink, like me, to uh, be uh, be part of this, uh, you know, monthly calendar of distinguished men in pink, one for each month, and we could sell sell it. And uh, I think you know it would that be, is a fantastic it should be a lot, idea. You know, a lot of fun, and and should raise some a lot of awareness, and and hopefully a decent amount of money too. Absolutely. So I, as you saw up there, I have the calendar, um, uh, basically. The, the call for men to submit photos, and I can tell you more about the process. Uh, but yeah, we got that going, and now getting a lot of guys interested and, and curious. Well, la yeah. guys, if you're watching this and you have a hot pink suit at home or a <laughs> jumpsuit, now is the time to call and get on this calendar. 626 794. 2116. I'm sure Todd or Butch has a hot pink suit. At it home. doesn't have to be a suit. It can be anything pink. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. Todd, don't you have a thong in a hot pink? <laughs> I thought you did. Uh, maybe he does. I mean, not many guys are going to have a suit like this, and I understand that. But uh, I think uh, if you're creative and you get out there, and we've been uh, sourcing a lot of great boutiques out there that have a lot of colorful clothing, great pink items, I think you could easily put together a really dynamic pink outfit that fits exactly who you are. And each guy's going to be different. You're going to have more of the sportsman, the right. golfer, the surfer. They want to bring that out in their shot. Um, could be somebody that's more businesslike and wants to have the pink hanky and, and, and the tie. And right. uh, it, So it's, I think it's going to ensure a wide spectrum of of looks, right. different guys, different ages, and uh, uh, again, this is really just at the idea stage right now, but I think it's got a lot of possibilities. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I can yeah. see a full legion of pink. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just like a wave of just, could you, could you imagine, imagine a million pink man march? I mean, you imagine I think just that 12 would be amazing. Guys, 12 guys walking out in hot pink, that alone. Um, um, 12 guys is a lot, but if you can <laughs> mark on Washington in a full legion of pink as men, I think it would a bring awareness mm. to mm -hmm. the breast yes. cancer. I'm not to just p take over your. Um, I, your I'm throwing it out there, but it's up to the uh, the women who who uh, support this and inspire this to really uh, help guide this what the seed of this idea to fruition. And if it means that we go to Washington, uh, watch we, it on we, pink. We can be doing this. Uh, we're going to do this year in year out. So. If it doesn't happen this year, it's a great vision down the road. Start with me. Uh, get 12 guys in a calendar. Who knows? We knock out maybe 10 different calendars, different segments of the industry. The men in pink for music, men in pink for film. Who knows, right? That's uh, great. Different countries. So just see how this grows. Oh, different yeah. countries. <laughs> I love it. Um, I would like to know if we have a caller out there that wants to call in again. It's 626 794 2116. I would also love to show the collage. There's this wonderful collage of the man in the hot pink suit in a different place, mm -hmm. and all you see is this beautiful smattering of pink everywhere. Can we pull that up? It's happening, people. That's a great collage if you get a close up. We're going to get a close up. We're Actually, in that collage, we have uh, photos of me with uh, two of the top. Uh, designers of Moods of Norway oh. at their store. Oh, my they have goodness. some great parties. Oh, well, I need to be invited to some of these parties. <laughs> I think they have one coming up, too. So Okay. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. I don't know if it's clear or not. But, I don't uh, know. That's kind of a smattering of just uh, multiple um, nights out on the town, including Moods of Norway. And uh, I can tell where you are in each photo. That's what I love <laughs> about this suit. It's... <laughs> Uh, at this point, uh, three, four events a week, taking you know 20 to 50 shots. It's one big collage. But this is some of my favorite photos from um, the end of last year, beginning of this year, including in the very top. If you scan up, you'll see there's one of me with uh, a colorful pop star Gwen Stefani. Oh which was wow! A, a great uh, moment in in pink. Uh, you know my my pink no uh, doubt. experience. Yeah, that was a pun. At, yes. <laughs> So yeah, uh, the collage is great because uh, I send it out just to give people a little one hit on the fact that yes, I'm out and about and I'm rocking it and uh, people love it. I'm usually the center of all the photos and we get a big group hug and you'll see some of the photos that keep growing and growing. There's been uh, the Susan G. Coleman one I recently did where 30, 40 people I'm going to Instagram you right now. Let's, people need to see this and I'm Instagramming this. Man. This is what we do on DeHaley Live. We do live fantastic things. While this man is talking, while the man in the hot pink suit is talking, I'm Instagramming him and I'm getting it real. 
this is the fun and fruity flavor about it. Dial it up, tweet me in, yeah. I'm uh, going to, and I love it. Um, and it just, it, it keeps expanding. It's uh, like the last party I went to uh, for uh, LA Fashion Week, and we were at someone's house, and it started with like four or five people, uh -huh. and they, uh, people said, wait a minute, I want to get in the photo, and the photographer kept having going back, stepping back further and further. Next thing you know, there were like 20 people in it. That was just so hilarious. I love and it. And the photographer's all the way at the back of the room now, and, uh, and that's the effect, and so, uh, it just encourages me about, uh, you know, going out more, invigorating the social scene, mixing up with people, and um, I'm having the time of my life. It's also uh, kind of, again, it's an opportunity for, for guys out there to see that, um, that uh, it's, it's a great icebreaker. Uh, people come up to you. Uh, be on the Men in the Pink team. Be in the calendar. Uh, you've got my endorsement. You don't have to explain yourself much. But right. go out in other colors, too. And find that your 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 nightlife is really going to pop. And uh, but particularly getting back to pink and women, I've found that yes, I've met so many women uh, uh -oh. and who support this. And I think guys out there, you want to meet girls, get get in the hot pink and rock it with me. And um, you, you know your your love life is going to change overnight. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm going to have to be a little <laughs> mad at that. This man brought the pink suit out for breast cancer and then it found a way to segue <laughs> to making it be a game changer at the club. And you know what? It is. It is a game changer at the club. I will say that this suit does show you off in a very, I mean, look, it's like, bap, bap, very, very, very well tailored as well. Um, you want me to stand up and just give it a... I'd, just, I'd like, can you please stand up and show it? Quick, quick, I mean, I know, oh, bam. Yeah, yeah I know, I've, got, just my, hold it, I've yeah. got my mic here a little bit. But. Look at this, you guys. I it mean, is, it is like, yeah. he's a pop star. It's, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. What is the fabric of mm -hmm. this? This is a wool. Oh, is that a wool? It's, yeah, but you wouldn't think it would be. Wow. Yeah. That is it's just a gorgeous. Nice, it's yeah. a gorgeous. And there's so many unique touches to it. Oh, look at embroidery. this embroidery here. Moods of Norway is so creative on that. I'm just... You see, I have the great tractor down here, and, is, is, and, and, and the tractor is up there too. I wanted to ask you about yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's the that's their about? that's their insignia. Oh, that's um, great. At, at Moods, uh, they've got a giant uh, tractor in every store. Oh, and in uh, this particular store, the I'm going to uh, take a. have got a blue or, 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 a, or a gold metallic one, which is fabulous. Ooh, put your finger there. They love, love they that. love the tractor uh, in Norway so much so. Yes. That uh, on my right wrist is the actual uh, uh, embroidered into the suit itself the amount of tractors registered in Norway. <gasps> Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, yeah. 234,243 tractors are registered in Norway. As at the time of this suit, of course. Oh my god, that's I'm sure awesome. there's many more since. Moods of no <laughs> shout out to Moods of Norway if you're watching. Shout out, shout out um, to Moods, that's right. Uh, I'm going to do tractor They're logo. They're responsible for all this. And if you go on their website, it's great. They've got a, uh, they do have a shot of all uh, three or four of the guys that started the company, uh, all in a different pink suit. It's a two-piece suit. Wow. And they're leaping off this Norwegian fjord mountain. Yes. In the pink suit, in midair, doing the whole rock star thing. I love and it. And one of the guys is holding this giant, like, uh, hand-weaved uh, uh, broom just to, you know, add, add, add extra color. So those guys are great, yeah. They, uh, they definitely came before me, and I thank them for making this suit. And, and really, they deserve a lot of credit uh, f for, for, you know. They do. They do. It, it's, great it's tailoring, great colors. Great tailoring. Yeah. Yeah. I want mm -hmm. a, my own suit as well. <laughs> um, they I, do make a lot of clothes for women, too. So it's not just for men. Just to make that clear, just as a plug for those guys. A lot of great women's clothing. Robertson, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moods of Norway, mm -hmm. Tractor Logo, Hot Pig, Maybe even purple. It's all available to you. Now, That's right. And if you're lucky, uh, you might actually get one of their tractor-shaped waffles that they make. What does uh, that yes. mean? You can, uh, they have actually a tractor-molded uh, waffle maker that they wow. use to make waffles. And they're currently featuring that at, I think it's the Grand Hotel of Oslo. They have a special deal there where you can go and get Moods of Norway waffles. Okay. So they're great. They're Let great. Me just say they have this. they have a pink boat. They have a they you know. Uh, the tractor yeah. is really not what I think of as the sexiest locomotive. <laughs> um, it grinds up the earth, but these moods of Norway people have found a way to make it really cool. I mean, now mm -hmm. I want to kind of like go on a tractor ride. I want a tractor pin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I would love to show you at some step and repeats. 
um, mm -hmm. on the red carpet. If we have those clips, can we show that? And mm -hmm. I'd also like to showcase um, the man in the hot pink suit in front of a pink van. And then I'd mm -hmm. love for you to talk mm -hmm. to me about that once we show mm -hmm. those images as well. Can we do that? And don't forget, you can still call in. This is yeah. a live show. You can Give tweet me. I'm going to get on Twitter right now and see if people have responded to this. It's 626-794-2116. You should also comment on Facebook, and I'm mm -hmm. there as well. So who are these lovely ladies who are with you? That was the pink carpet at the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure oh. at uh, Dodger Stadium recently. And I was... Uh, uh, you know, uh, the pop of color. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, uh, it's like a rainbow. Uh, yes, indeed. And um, I was there for a couple of hours taking, gosh, about 100 photos with all kinds of groups of people. So it was, it was a wonderful experience and uh, it was a great event for, uh, for Susan G. Komen. And That's awesome. Yeah, so I really felt uh, welcome there and felt comfortable. I have to ask you, mm -hmm. this is a little <clears throat> bit... Um, Provocativo. <laughs> How did you feel about the Susan G. Komen Foundation initially pulling out of Planned Parenthood? Uh, I was hoping that we weren't going to bring that up, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can you can plead the fifth. You can decline if you don't want to. But just know that many of your fans want to know what the hot the man in the ooh the thinks hot man in the hot pink suit thinks about well, this. All right. Well, well, I can briefly touch on that. Essentially, um, this is the uh, their bus uh, that uh, oh is a great photo op. Yeah, big bus uh, uh, that has autographs. Uh, I believe all the uh, cancer survivors and probably more. Oh, okay. Um, there at the event, and um, you know, I know that they, they were involved in some controversy. The, I saw uh, because they're they're the the world's largest breast cancer organization. Yes. Uh, and and just relatively, uh, you know. Uh, you can new, come back to us now. New with this idea of uh, I, I just uh, it was a great opportunity to reach out and and and, and get associated with an organization right um, you know currently as it stands uh, you know they're they're one of a number that are all doing great work out there I happen to be invited to that event and I'm going to be at other uh, events for different organizations as well and um, so um, I try, uh, you know, you try to uh, say, but I'm just currently, saying, that is what happens to you when you become this man in the hot yeah. pink suit all of a yeah. sudden, everything you do has a now another layer to it. Are you prepared for that kind of notoriety? One day you will be out there yes. and something will happen w that will seemingly be very benign. Maybe some little kid comes up to you and you don't see him. And so you accidentally turn and you hit him in the face. But it's an accident and they will capture that <laughs> moment as... The man in the hot pink suit beats kids. Like, are you ready for that kind of level of scrutiny? I don't on really think it's ever going to get that far. Uh, I mean, it would Sir, be. Sir, have you seen your suit? <laughs> it might get that far. Um, I totally understand. I'm, I am a public figure out there, and um, I need to have. Uh, uh, an you know, opinion about all the issues, particularly around what, what I'm representing. Um, you the, might have to cancel your Playboy account. <laughs> Never that. Uh, um, Cur currently, the, the calendar and uh, what organization that we'll be benefiting is uh, still uh, up for grabs. It's, right. it's at the idea stage. Okay. Um, uh, this has uh, raised different questions. I've had a lot of my fans, different people I've met, have, have brought up all the issues, and it's really helped me get up to speed um, on, on the organization as a whole. Um, since I'm not officially affiliated with them, I don't think I need to make an official statement at this point. That's a good point. Th th this point. Uh, however, it's really the, the, probably the more positive thing about this is that it's opened my mind up to seeing that um, di different sides of, uh, of the conversation and equation uh, with the uh, w with the disease and the organizations that are out there, uh, there are so many. Uh, the uh, Entertainment Industry Foundation's um, Women's Cancer Research Fund is one that uh, I've already I've reached out to. Uh, they are uh, supporting the Revlon Walk Run coming up in May that I right. hope to be a part of. That's one example. There are more alternative health organizations out there right. and more activist organizations as well that um, I'm in dialogue with. And in the end. Um, uh, I'm just hoping, you know, as one guy uh, and a hot pink suit to be able to make, you know, the best decisions and going out there to take Absolutely. advantage of this opportunity. I, I and, and I appreciate your input on I'm this. just here and to And everyone's just, input. Yes. Yes. I'm just here to... Um, <laughs> To make it hot for you, to, to make to, to test you a little bit, because you might hit m more scrutiny and stuff like that. 
But let's I keep wanna, turning up the heat. I'm I am not hot heat. under the collar at all. I mean, very I'm, nice. We can I'm, yeah. pun all day with yeah, this. So let's do a little <laughs> go backtrack a little bit okay. to a more personal mm -hmm. um, statement that you talked about your mother. Mm -hmm. she, she's a breast cancer survivor. Yes. So what does she think about your? Is she still with us? Yes, she okay. is. Mm -hmm. What does she think about mm -hmm. the suit and what you've been doing? Oh, she thinks it's great. Um, she's delightfully surprised. Oh, that's awesome. Um, uh, probably not, not totally surprised that uh, I, I would probably come up with something like this. Uh, my mother's very creative and a big creative influence on my life uh, as a, uh, in, in uh, interior design and real estate, and she was a hairstylist. And, wow. Um, you know, I, my, my fondest memories of my mom are going out shopping, you know, for clothes, you know, and uh, her helping me. So she loves it, and as well as my sisters. And, um, I, you know, slowly but surely the word's getting out back home, and, um, you know, that's, uh, that's great. In you know, Chicago. At, at the same time, I, I am happy that I am somewhat anonymous. Right. Lead the man in a hot pink suit, um, you know, just because... Uh, you know, uh, this is great for L.A. I don't even want to think about what, uh, you know, my old high school buddies <laughs> back, back home are, would be thinking. Where is, what is your high school? Do you remember? The, what was the, what's the name of it? You're not going to shout it out? You're not going to shout it out. McKinley High. Look at the, no, I, we have no I said idea. I'm from Chicago. So. That's it. We, we, what's it? We have I'm from the mean street of Chicago. So that's the, it. Yeah. The south side. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, not. bad, bad Leroy Brown, the whole thing, you oh. know. So, right, so. One day, if, I, if, if the time is writing, uh, you know, I, I'll probably uh, walk into town in a suit, and, and we'll, just, we'll just see where the chips fall. You know? That is the full <laughs> 180. That is the full arc of the suit. The prodigal son comes yes, back in the hot, hot, pink, hot pink. Yeah, you know, Absolutely. Surprise, <clears throat> I'm not gay. <laughs> right. But even if I was, who cares? You know? <laughs> That's what I said. Not and, you know, exactly. And I'm doing it for, for you, all exactly. you beautiful ladies out there. Yeah. You know? And, and, and we uh, want to keep you healthy and, and... Yes, he's doing it for our breasts. <laughs> this hot pink suit is for our breasts. It is to save our breasts and it is to bring awareness to the fact that our breasts do not need cancer and they need a cure. Now, Absolutely. we have if that's 15 not... minutes left in the show. <laughs> I would love if, if you could call in 626-794-2116. You have an exclusive opportunity to speak to the man in the hot pink suit who is with us right now before he goes on a statewide tour or citywide tour as this man in the hot pink suit. Bring it on. 626-794-2116. Bring those calls in. Absolutely. If that's not a conversation starter, I don't know what is. So let's get those calls rolling in. Now, do you go sometimes with another shirt? Or is it generally the blue shirt with the pink? I usually wear a different shirt every time I go out. I rotate all different hues uh, of, of the rainbow complementary. Yes, yeah, so we have purples and Purple uh, wha that. yeah, white. I, I have a great pink uh, variations pink on, pink. on blue nice. as well. Um, and, um, you know, I'm continuing to expand, you know, my, my wardrobe going, going out and about uh, as I uh, look for colorful clothing out there. Not only for myself, but again, for the men out there who are looking to rock color, particularly pink. I'm a great resource. I'm going to be able to help you find the outfits, uh, source the designers. Hopefully, we're going to get some big names and brands behind us, and um, uh, we'll, we're going to start up a, a hot pink trend uh, for I men love and beyond. Hot pink yeah. trends. Because yeah. I, I've noticed even on the Gap and a lot of the mm -hmm. colors for this uh, for this fall, spring and, and summer is very colorful. Mm -hmm. Where the '80s are kind of back with neons and kind of things like that. Yeah. And good timing. Um, like I was saying with the Gap, they have a whole line of these colorful pants. I'm actually wearing Levi's, but that's it's fine. Fabulous. Thank you very much. But I want a hot pink um, um, jean. I think I have a collar. Do I? No. I'm sorry. I was looking at someone who was giving me cues. And thank you so much for tuning in. 626-794-2116. I would like to just run down while we have, you know, 10 more minutes to the left of the show or even five. I'm not sure where we are. Um, where else we can see you and how people can find you on Twitter and Facebook. Let's get the social media shout out right now. Fantastic. Well, I have Ooh. my business card here. Look at this I card. think they flashed that online and this has all my information there. Um, to, uh, to start, I've just established a page on Facebook and you can simply just type in the man in the hot pink suit to find me. Uh, we also then have a Facebook page for the men in pink calendar as well which is connected 
And uh, I'm very active on Twitter, and you get a different color feed through Twitter than you would on Facebook. Uh, a lot of activity, and there's a, a lot of uh, retweeting and a lot of uh, exciting uh, news that I uh, uncover about color in the world on Twitter. Eventually carry that over to the Facebook page. And the Twitter account is Hot Pink Suit. I love it. Yeah. I'm going to jump, Hot jump Pink on Suit. Twitter yeah. right now to see what we have. And mm -hmm. we have some mentions, um, some excitement. Yeah. Let's People just... are retweeting your... your your you announcements know, about the show. Yeah. Exactly. I love it. This is fantastic. And, you know. And where am I going to be? Where you are you going to be? Yeah. Well, uh, we're hoping to, you know, uh, use the Facebook, you know, and Twitter, obviously, as a broadcasting where we're out and about. I usually don't uh, broadcast it too much in advance. I usually just like to show up. Nice and work. then we will post the photos the next day or pretty quick about that. Um, and we get more formal with the Men in Pink calendar and the casting calls and uh, the events that we'd love to roll out to support this. Um, you know, we're going to have uh, hopefully an uh, ongoing schedule listed. In the meantime, uh, really, if you're in the fashion scene and uh, you're, you're really plugged into any of the big events going in L.A., I'm usually there. Please tag yourself <laughs> on my Facebook page All so right. that people can now be redirected to who you are. Okay. I, I, I mean, I would really love that. I mean, I'm sure all of my fans want to be able to message directly the man in the hot pink suit. Um, so we have... Love to get your likes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So again, 626-794-2116. We've been having a fabulous conversation with the man in the hot pink suit. What we've learned is he's doing fundraising through a calendar, and men out there, it is specific to men yeah. that you would like in the calendar. No, uh, right, that's what you're looking for, because it's, that's going to be mm -hmm. the showstopper in the calendar. It versus. is the men in pink calendar, absolutely, okay. yeah. The men in pink calendar, mm -hmm. which is going to be a fundraiser for breast cancer awareness. His mother is a survivor. And are you mm -hmm. the only son? It feels like you were raised in a household with a lot of ladies. Am uh, I right or am I wrong? I'm, I'm uh, the oldest of four. I have a brother, two sisters. Okay, great. Because yeah. I, I, <laughs> I can definitely sense that you have a, a strong appreciation for women. And I always that's have. Amazing. You know, I always have. I think uh, overall, um, uh, uh, I've had more girlfriends and, in, in my life um, in a way. And uh, yeah, they're a major influence and inspiration for me. And, and again, for men. And men, if you can do something like this and, uh, and help uh, women and, uh, you know, one of your favorite body parts on them, <laughs> uh, give us a call. Uh, yeah, the, the calendar is um, invi invite to any guy out there. Submit your photo. You can set, submit up to three calendar-ready photos of the shot of your choice uh, by August 1st. So if you go to the Men in Pink calendar on Facebook, uh, you will be able to see all of the, the rules and regulations and the criteria for how we'll be judging. And that will be very interesting because I think you'd be a great person to get involved oh, in, in thank helping you. Kind of I would love that. I see choose. the deadline yeah. is mm -hmm. August 1st, 2012. Mm -hmm. So, man, that's mm -hmm. right around the corner. It's at the, the, almost at the end of summer. So please get in there. The, all, you can join, got, get on my Facebook page to see the rules and regulation. But really quickly, yeah. tell us a little bit about the regulations to get in the calendar. We will. Uh, definitely. I mean, I've got a lot of responses from men so far. It's been great. Um, just going out, uh, usually every event garners a couple of guys at least. And uh, we've put some stuff out on Craigslist and things like that, getting a lot of response. So uh, already more than, more than enough guys to be in the calendar. Um, the, but, uh, you know, we can't just hand uh, a month over on a silver platter <laughs> right, to someone exactly. just because they say they'll do it. And I'm sorry to disappoint all you guys out there because I think that there's – I may give you that impression when I say, you guys should be in the calendar. And he's like, right. great, I'm in the calendar. I'm, I'm Mr. May, right? And uh, well, uh, it's not What's as easy. What's the criteria? They do have to, have to. They have to write an essay. I think they should write an essay. I think that well, that is definitely one of the criteria. Is what's Good. your story? What's what's your personal story? Have you been affected? And right. what I found is a lot of the guys that are are uh, interested have been affected in one way or another. Okay. So that's really important. You don't have to be, but if you've been touched in, in some way, just buy buy it in general, or buy a friend, or your close family, or or a loved one. Then definitely that's one of the criteria. Absolutely. The other one will be, of course, your your pink look. Right. Right. You can't just show <clears throat> up in just a pink baseball cap. No. <clears throat> You oh, can't we just wear a pink tie. We have a caller, actually. Hi, caller. Hi, DeHaley. Hi. It's Linda. Oh, my gosh. Have oh, you been yes. tuning in? Uh, I, it's, an, it, it's an amazing technological feat that I <laughs> am talking to you. Um, but I would like to know about the pink suit. If 
someone's going to submit a picture, should they be in a pink suit? And if so, I have never, ever, ever <laughs> seen a pink suit <laughs> anywhere. Now. So, or and other than a pale pink shirt, really <laughs> any other piece of clothing. Is there some recommended shopping mm. spree place? Well, that's... you can definitely get it where he bought it at Moods of Norway, but mm. he's saying that there are other options. Uh, uh, Man in the Pot Pink Suit, where can other callers go in for that? I don't expect you to wear a suit, as I said, uh, but you have to wear more than one piece of pink. A uh, tie's just not going to cut it. Two pieces or more is great. Uh, Moods of Norway is... Uh, really only made a limited edition of pink suits and I think I happen to have probably the one and only three piece like this. I haven't seen anything else in the store since. I regularly go out. Uh, there are some great shops uh, here and there in uh, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, uh, places uh, that I we can provide as resources for guys to go out there and source uh, pink clothing. You may already have some in their uh, wardrobe already, or you may know a designer. Uh, perhaps uh, you can even reach out to someone well-known who would put together a look specifically for you. So uh, really, it's, it's up to you, the amount of energy, passion you put into it, uh, what you can come up with. That's awesome. You know? So, and basically the, the <clears throat> real importance is to find your independent style mm -hmm. in order to be in this calendar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We are, um, uh, we're, we're having, we have five more minutes. Linda, thank you so much for calling. Maybe Thanks, your Linda. husband can uh, tune, uh, can decide to maybe wear some sort of fantastic pinkness mm -hmm. for this calendar. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, I think the women that are out there shopping uh, for their husbands uh, will, will check it out and find out where to get the appropriate pink to support the cause. I love it. Absolutely. All and it, right. And it, Goodbye. Thank you Thank so much, you. Linda. Bye. Again, follow me on Facebook for all the information. I am contemplating putting together a... Uh, Again, uh, a resource list, possibly even a tour of the colorful clothing shops in L.A. and beyond where guys can source uh, pink for the calendar. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I have a horrible <laughs> cold. Thank you. Oh, Shout out to, Lin uh, to Linda for calling in our past callers and to Shannon who clandestinely passed me a tissue. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah. this has been an amazing, amazing show. We, Thank you so um, much for having me. And seriously. Yeah. Um, We're just not, scratching the surface, too. We're just scratching the surface. <laughs> I want to keep the image of the man in the hot pink suit, so that's why I will not, like, illuminate how we personally have been acquainted, unless you want to know that, that but I think that th what is most appropriate is this person. He has a wonderful personality outside of the suit, but what's more relevant is all the fantastic things that he is doing inside of the suit. And that he's encouraging other people to put on their pink. Like, <coughs> it's almost like their, oh, uh, their uniform for the <coughs> cure, their uniform for the cause. Absolutely. This is uh, definitely the designated uniform for uh, any uh, guy out there that wants to be a male mascot for breast cancer. Male mascot I don't th for breast cancer. I don't think you can really uh, do, do wrong um, with that designation. And then what you bring to it takes it beyond that. Um, so uh, once it gives you something, you can kind of hang your pink suit on, if you will, going out there knowing you're part of this uh, path, uh, a, a project that's, that's forming around this. And at the same time, you can still be you. Uh, you know, it's, it's pink for a cure, but pink has, has been there uh, prior to, you know, uh, the cause and, and will we'll always sort of shine alone as, as a fa fabulous color that I think more and more men are realizing look, looks great on them. And if we can just sort of uh, break down the, a little bit more of the barriers and get out there a little bit more, um, it's going to snowball and, uh, you know, the, the question of whether or not pink's appropriate is, is, is going to be just kind of an old, old issue. And yeah. we're going to see a lot more color out there. It's a lot. Yeah. It is great. I mean, the <coughs> fantastic thing is I love when things operate on multiple <coughs> levels. I love when you can wear the pink and be talking about breast cancer, also subtly supporting feminism, and also brightening someone's day and being a showstopper. I mean, that's three in one, and I love it. We have one minute left in the show. If anyone wants to call in, now is the chance. 626-794-2116. I'm making everyone in the control room nervous and upset at me. <laughs> but I'm just so excited. Now, we have 30 seconds left in the show. 
626-794-2116. Tune in again next week. Um, again, check my Facebook, Twitter. You will see photos from the show and photos in the uh, after the show. We have the man in the hot pink suit. It has been so lovely to have you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks for listening, everybody, and for calling in. And I hope uh, to follow your show and uh, bring more supporters. And hopefully you have me on again in the future when we get the calendar going. And we launch it in, uh, um, in October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I would really love that, especially if you have a sexy guy. <laughs> All right. Um, shirtless. Or in <laughs> Okay, I'm wrapping it up. Thank you so much. Tune in again next week, Wednesday nights, live at 9 p.m. De Haley Live. Bye bye. Toodaloo.